Hi Jack, uh, we're well, looking back at Saturday's 3-0 win against Dundee United at Tanadice. Can I get your thoughts on the, the match please? It must have been a, a great day, a great victory. Yeah, I was, um, I was quite nervous going up to the game because I, I know that Dundee are in a good position in, in the table. Um, but I mean, the, boy, the boys were really, really good, to be fair. It was a very well-rounded performance, solid at the back, scored good goals, 3-0. Scored at good times in the match as well, just before half-time just after half-time, and that sort of took the sting out of the game for us. So it was a good performance. It shows how difficult it is to get a result at Tanadice. Morton haven't won there in almost 40 years before Saturday. I'm sure that's really? not something you're aware of, but uh, it just shows that how great a result it was to go up there and win 3-0. Uh, well, for sure, like I said, they're not in that position in the table by accident. So um, very, very good result, and uh, hopefully we can use that momentum to keep going forward. You mentioned the goals. Uh, spectacular goal from Scott Tiffany. And then yourself, can you talk yeah. us through your goal? Uh, I mean, Tiff's was an absolute thunderbolt. Um, Tam scored a header as well, give credit to Tam too. And then my goal, yeah, was sort of Mark just passed the ball back to me and um, picked the ball up. My first touch took me with momentum and I started dribbling and I thought, I've come this far, so I may as well, I'm not going to pass it to anyone else now. And I managed to get myself in the box and, and have a shot and thankfully it went in, so I was really happy. With that, it's obviously a great goal. You scored many like that before, I imagine... You no, haven't? <laughs> no, not not so many of the dribbly ones. Normally, I can kick it quite hard. Some the goals that I score either headers from three yards or, or shots from outside the box. So to get a nice little mazy run is a good one. Who is the most shocked? Your your teammates? Anybody? Me by far. <laughs> me by far. I mean, Tom looked at me with disbelief, and Jeebsy was. I mean, he rugby tackled me to the floor as well. So I think he was quite shocked. But I think I was definitely the most shocked out of everyone. You played left back, and um, that's the second game you've played there. Yeah. How are you enjoying that? And is that somewhere you've played before in your career? Uh, yeah, I played a little bit left back, not so much. Um, I grew up as a left winger, and then moved back to centre half. So I was sort of finding that middle ground for that position. I'm enjoying it. Um, and yeah, the gaffer gave me an opportunity last week in the cup game, and we got a win and managed to keep my spot in the, in the team. Um, and I really enjoy playing left back. So hopefully, I can keep progressing with these performances and, and keep the shirt. Mentioned the Dunfermline Cup game. That's another excellent result. Yeah, no, for sure. To get ourselves into the next round of the cup, it's really good for the club. Um, and I think is it Dumbarton we're playing in the next round? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean that that's a good uh, a good fixture for us, and hopefully we can kick on and, and get a good cup run as well. Speaking of kicking on, you've obviously kicked on yourself since you've come back from your loan at Queens Park. It's been uh, an excellent couple of weeks for you on an individual level as well. Yeah, the the four months I spent at Queens Park definitely put me in good stead coming back. I learnt a lot, and I'm, I feel like I'm a more confident player now, and I definitely got better there. So I'm, I'm really happy I went out on loan, but now I'm back here, I want to stay here. Excellent, Jack. Thank you very much for your time. Well done on Saturday, and congratulations on an excellent goal. Thank you very much.